Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show. I am your host, your ghost host, <laughs> Wes Troop, and I am back this week with another episode where we're going to see what went down at the Disney parks this week. So, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's see what the trending topics were at Walt Disney World this week. <laughs> All right, we are going to start out off at the resorts because it was announced this week that the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel Experience will begin taking reservations later this year for their opening in 2021. The expansion invites guests to embark on a two-night adventure aboard a glamorous starship. During the, this first-of-its-kind vacation experience, guests will interact with characters and become an active participant in immersive stories that unfold over the course of this unforgettable galactic journey on board the Star Cruiser, which is to be called the Hell Scion, or something like that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I butchered the pronunciation, but as, as we hear more about it, I'm sure I'll get it right. Anyway, so... The Galactic Star Cruiser uh, will be taking reservations later in the in this coming year in 2020. Um, as big of, of a Star Wars fan as I am, I'm just not feeling this for some reason. It feels like they're taking you and kidnapping you. But I mean, it is just a two night uh, thing. But and then you're gonna have to stay at another hotel if you want more of a vacation than just Star Wars. Um, if you want more than just Batu, uh, coming all the way down there, you know, you might want to ride Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It just, it just feels weird the way it feels like they are kidnapping you and you know, you're not allowed to to leave. Um, I don't know. It just feels very odd. I thought it was going to be a little bit different, like you could come and go as you please, but I guess you're paying for that experience. It's just not something that I could see myself doing. I'm sure this is going to be more for families and little boys and girls and stuff like that, but I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea, surprisingly, and Star Wars are some of my favorite movies, but... It is what it is. Um, maybe maybe it'll it'll sound more appealing as more details come out closer to its opening next year. Uh, but we shall see. Anyway, if you're interested in that Star Wars Galactic uh, Star Cruiser Hotel, the reservations will be coming later this year. Now, heading over to a park that's got a, always got a lot going on recently, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will be opening in just a few weeks at Disney's Hollywood Studios on March 4th, 2020. And earlier this week, Disney released Fast Pass Plus reservation times for the brand new attraction. The new ride will be joining Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run, and Slinky Dog Dash as Tier 1 choices at this park, of course. So, last week, remember we said about how they changed up the tiers? Now they throw this monkey wrench in <laughs> at us a week later. And so now, uh, Tier 1, you have to choose between uh, now Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Slinky Dog Dash, or Smuggler's Run. Um, obviously, the choice I would do is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway because it's the only thing I haven't seen yet. Um, so, and then you can pick two more from... Tier 2, and then, of course, when you're done with all three of your Fast Passes, you can pick some more of whatever's left. Um, so, uh, yeah, I can't wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Uh, I still am a little iffy about it, because I'm... I love the great movie ride, like many had. Uh, and I, it just it's felt weird that this was going to be taking its place in the Chinese theater there. But, uh, you know... The past is in the past, as they say, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this ride in person. Um, so, I will be excited for it when I go on my next trip to see it, but uh, still a little heartbroken that they took away the great movie ride for this, but it is what it is. Um, so, just know if you're headed there anytime soon, you can get grab a fast pass for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, because it's probably going to be pretty popular. 
staying over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, Disney has also adjusted the operating hours at the park. The opening will now be at 8 a.m. from March 1st to the 14th, 2020, an hour earlier than the usual 9 a.m. openings. And if you think that sounds early... You should have been like me and have been at the park at 6 a.m. Or, well, even earlier. I had to wake up at 4.30 a.m. on my last trip <laughs> to uh, head over to Hollywood Studios. So if 8 sounds early to you, yeah, you should have been there with me. <laughs> and and the loads of other people uh, riding the Millennium Falcon at 6 a.m. Anyway, <laughs> so just know if you're going March 1st to the 14th, the park will be opening at 8 a.m. And speaking of Disney's Hollywood Studios, the old rumor mill is striking again, and it has suggested that the multiple experiences at the park could be coming to a close as soon as the end of February, including the Star Wars A Galaxy Far, Far Away stage show and a number of character experiences. Mike from Monsters, Inc. at Walt Disney Presents... Bo Peep from Toy Story over at Toy Story Land, and Frozone from The Incredibles over at Pixar Place. No specific end date has been announced for these experiences, but of course, if it is confirmed, I'll give you guys an update. Um, as far as the characters go, that kind of sucks <laughs> for... Uh, um, for kids, you know, because I know I know there are a lot of girls that wanted to meet Bo Peep over in Toy Story Land. The line was long last time I was there. Um, Mike and Sully are great to meet over at Walt Disney Presents, so it's you know it'll just be Sully then. And I, Frozone's a great character too, uh, over to meet over at Pixar Place. Um, so you know it's, it kind of sucks that they'd be taking those away. Um, as far as the <laughs> Star Wars A Galaxy Far, Far Away stage show. That just seems like uh, it's a, it blocks traffic in the, when it's going. Um, it's basically just the characters come out and do a couple moves and leave. To me, the best part of that show is the parade. <laughs> when they're leaving the stage and you can see them all, all the characters go by. Uh, it's not even a parade. It's just the, their entrance and exit to the stage, that's the best part to me. The, the rest of the show, I could do without. Um, but uh, like some people said, they could move it over to Galaxy's Edge or something. I wouldn't even... <laughs> I wouldn't even bother. I think that show's a waste of time, if you ask me. I I hadn't watched the whole thing, but I sort of like stood there and watched some of it, and I'm like, all right, I'm out. So <laughs> uh, I will not be shedding a tear if that show does leave. Uh, but anyway... It is what it is. So, uh, like I said, if those uh, do get confirmed, I will update you all on the situation. Now we're going to park hop over to Epcot. Because after missing its winter 2019 opening date, it looks like the supposed March 2020 opening for the new Space 220 restaurant concept at Epcot has once again been pushed back and is now looking at an April 2020 opening. So if you were hoping to eat in space anytime soon, sorry, <laughs> um, you're going to have to wait a little longer. Um... Yeah, I would I would think they would be making reservations if it would have been opened in March, um, since that's just in a couple weeks. But uh, yeah, so not not a whole lot of luck going on with the space restaurant. I I, I know I kind of figured when that when it said about winter twenty nineteen, and I was there in the fall, and I still heard uh, you know hammers and nails, and I'm like, yeah, we will, well, well, we'll see about that. Uh, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah, so. If you're looking forward to eating at the Space 220 restaurant, which still has a lot of mystery surrounding it, I'm, I am very interested to see more about this restaurant. Uh, it sounds more and more like it could be opening in April. So there's that. <laughs> now we're going to park hop over to the Magic Kingdom because there is a refurbishment update, which is always interesting because... You, if you're going on your trip and you need to know if stuff is closed or open, your favorite thing may be closed. 
Well, this is certainly not one of my favorite things, but the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse will be going down for a brief refurbishment this spring, beginning on April 27th and lasting through May 3rd, 2020. The attraction is expected to reopen on May 4th, 2020, of course. Um, so Swiss Family Treehouse, uh, I've done it a couple times. On my latest trip, I went and did it again, and I, I'm, I've just, while I'm doing it, I'm, I got to the top. I said, why in the world did I do this again? <laughs> it's just one of those things. I know it's, it's going to have its fans out there that say, oh, this is one of the best things at the park. Why, I don't know. But um, people like what they like. Uh, just for me, it's, it's, it's a pass. Easily, it's one. It's one of my least favorite things at all in the at the resort. So, but anyway, Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse will be down April twenty seventh through May third. If you're going around that time, you're not going to be able to climb some stairs. Sorry. Now to something that might be more interesting to people. <laughs> The day after that refurbishment, Magic Kingdom favorite Big Thunder Mountain Railroad will be closing for a short refurbishment from May 4th to May 21st, 2020. And the attraction is expected to reopen on May 22nd. Uh, yeah, I would be much more angry if that ride was closed um, while I would be on my vacation. Um, so if you're going between May 4th and May 21st, unfortunately, Big Thunder will be closed lame uh and now we're gonna park hop over to disney springs because city works eatery and poorhouse officially opened its doors at disney springs poorhouse as in p-o-u-r not uh yeah anyway <laughs> the new location serves over 90 local and global craft brews on tap and has eight wines on draft so you can definitely do some dranking over there. Menu items at the location include ahi tuna tacos, short ribs, smoked barbecue ribs, and the salmon burger, as well as desserts like peanut butter Snickers pie, s'mores dip, root beer floats, and, of course, more. <laughs> so that is uh, what uh, they were still working on that the last time I was there. The City Works, I'm sure that's a great new place to eat. There's a lot of choices over at Disney Springs. There's another one. <laughs> so if you're interested in eating over at the City Works, uh, or drinking over at the City Works even more, um, it is open over at Disney Springs. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back next week with another uh, episode where we'll talk about what went down at Walt Disney World that week. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Hit Show Show. Follow on the Facebook. Facebook.com slash Hit Show Show. Follow on the Twitter. And a ghost will follow you back. At Hit Show Show. And if you want to listen to the show, or you are listening to the show, you can do so on Podbean. HitShowShow.Podbean.com. Or search under West Troop or the Hitchhiking Host Show on iTunes or Stitcher. Until next time, don't forget to... Hurry back. Hurry back. For the next episode. See ya.